like eight possessions in a row after they scored the first two touchdowns. What was working well defensively after the first couple TDs? Um, we just locked into the game, communication, and um, just everybody doing their job and just locking in their job. Uh, we knew that it was going to be a fast tempo team, and we just wanted to stay calm and, and poised on the pressure. And I feel like we did that during that script. So, so. Marcus, you feel like you guys ran out of gas a little bit there right at the end of the third quarter when they were to put together that 90 yard drive? Uh, no, I, I personally think we ran out of. Uh, uh, I don't think that, but I feel like we got to look at the mistakes and fix those mistakes and just uh, communicate and be efficient for four, four quarters and we'll be good. Just what did it mean to get Keontae and, and Keys back out there tonight? Uh, that means the most. Those guys bring so much energy and so much hope to the defense, and we love when both of those guys came, especially uh, Keontae. I mean, not Keontae, but Keys. Uh, you know, this is an old school, and I was happy to see he played this game and came yeah. back strong. How, you see, feel like those guys – Stood up pretty well for, for being out for such, such a long time. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I feel like those guys came in and, and never missed a step. So um, obviously, we got to see the family, see where everything was. But uh, first, I see those guys flying to the ball, and I love it. Marcus, you know how teams can get divided if one one side is so the ball's not playing as well as the other. Mm -hmm. what, what do you sort of say to the offense? How do you keep this team together? Uh, this is we're still a long season. We still got five more games left, and we still have our goals in front of us. So we just got to buy in and, and lock in and watch film and be critical of each other and just take coaching and, and be ready to get better next week. And because we play another game at home, and we want to give our fans a win at home. What do you feel like the key is for this defense to kind of keep taking those steps forward? Uh, just just uh, communicate and just make sure we don't miscommunicate and make sure everybody's on the same page. Because when we're on the same page basically unstoppable, but uh, a lot of times uh, we have a lot of busts because you don't be communicating, but when we communicate, we're hard to beat. Is that is that kind of those early couple of third and long situations? Yeah, yeah sir, like we, we're not communicating, we just panicking when they, when they go tempo and they get on the ball fast or something, but we just got to lock in and, and watch the film and see what happened those plays, so. You talked about, you know, this being a tough stretch of y'all's schedule, but, mm -hmm. you know, y'all were hoping to get at least one or two of these games, mm -hmm. but just how important is it to, to finish strong, especially with the next couple games you have? Oh, this most, it's important, you know, uh, just to set the new, next stage for this uh, team and this coaching staff and just set a uh, foundation for the uh, next years and the years to come and, and just finish the year strong. That's our main goal. And, we're not a team to give up, and we're not going to give up just because we lost. We're going to keep fighting and trying to find a way to win. And try to work. We got to work harder. Obviously, we're not doing our job. So I know on the defense side of the ball, we're going to push harder and try to get better and try to minimize our mistakes and those touchdowns they had. You had a career high seven tackles tonight. What, individually, what was working for you? Uh, I just sent the ball and just getting to the ball. Um, the scheme Coach Robert put us in is an amazing scheme. And I just do it, play call, and just make plays. But. Um, uh, trying to keep that going this game and trying to end with a win. Do you feel like you were on the field too long as a as a defense? Do you feel like the offense's inability to sustain a long drive affected you guys? Uh, no, nah, like, like I said, we, we, we like to have the pressure on this anyway. So we love being on the field. This is what we practice for. This is what we train for all summer. And we never have a problem with getting back on the field. So we don't use that as an excuse. And we want to keep getting better. And we got to finish the game out four quarters. That's our next emphasis is just finishing the game now. Cause we started out strong. I mean, we started out bad, but we the middle stretch was strong, and we got to finish strong as well. So. What was different in the middle stretch? Uh, just communicate. Like we 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 got settled in the game, and you know, first couple drives they they ran their script, so they probably skinned us up. But once we settled down and got in our script and got in our plays and ran our plays, we, we were good. So that's just it. Thank Last you. question. Yeah. Anyone?